San Diego is no doubt a beautiful place to live, but we also share it with some dangerous critters. From great white sharks to stingrays, there's always some inherent risk when you get into the water. But after a local surfer finished his session, he had an animal encounter on the beach that could have meant his life. CBS 8's Tim Blodgett has the story. You know, I've had a lot of crazy occurrences with sea life, whales, sharks, stingrays, but um, I've never associated the beach with snakes. During his lunch break yesterday, lifelong San Diegan and avid surfer Matthew Gemeyer and his buddies hit up one of their favorite spots, South Torrey Pines Beach. After having a great session and spotting a shark nearby, Matt decided it was time to get out of the water. This little section of dirt next to the curb and just check out the surf one last time. And I felt like someone dropped a knife on my foot, like it was sharp pain. I looked down, there was a snake attached to my foot. Gemeyer says it was about a one and a half foot diamondback rattlesnake, which would have made it a juvenile. He knew immediately that he needed medical attention. Lifeguards and paramedics were called and quickly stabilized him. But Matt was already starting to feel the effects. The full body tingling, the lips, the face, the numbness, the swelling, it was crazy. There was a point when I was calling out to God saying, oh, I don't want to die like this. This isn't going to be how it's going to end, is it? <laughs> After surfing and getting bitten by a rattlesnake. Gamayra was rushed to Scripps Medical Center in La Jolla, where doctors treated him with multiple vials of antivenom. Considering there are five bite marks found on his foot, Matt was lucky to escape with his life. But he seems hopeful that he will be released sometime today. Matt's story is an important reminder that rattlesnakes live almost everywhere in San Diego County, from the mountains to the beaches. When the weather is hot and dry like it is now, rattlesnakes are much more active. Hiding spots like scrubby brush or under rocks are particular favorites for snakes of all kinds. If you do encounter one, leave it alone. And if you're bitten, seek medical attention. It definitely makes you appreciate life and the people around you and what we have. Matt was lucky to be near a world-class hospital at the time, but last night, with his foot propped up, he couldn't help but feel a sense of irony watching the Padres play the Diamondbacks opening day. I'm not the only one who got snake bit yesterday. The Padres, oh yeah, such high hopes. Tim Blodgett, CBS 8.